Hello, welcome to another video by LSX Engines Tuning Marine. In this video, I'm going to try to find where top dead center is on this engine because I have a little problem. This timing, normally your timing cover has the top dead center marks lined up on it, or it'll have a, the top dead center and uh, degrees before and after. But this time, this timing cover did not have a timing mark with it or any kind of a timing mark. So what I'm trying to do is establish where top dead center is so I can mark this timing cover with the time. You can buy timing tabs that will attach to this screw and that screw, I think. You see that, it might be that one and the one below it. But the timing tab attaches to those two screws and gives you something to set your timing with. This particular motor is a distributor based motor. It does not rely on a crank sensor. So you do need timing, uh, you do need uh, timing marks in order to set your distributor, your base timing on your distributor. So at this time, I'm gonna, um, so what I've done so far is I've taken a socket extension and I put it in the number one spark plug hole and I put it in there very gently and also uh, turned it so that the uh, square is facing the flat part of the square in there is facing this way. And so I put it, I cleaned it off, put it in there as far as it'll go. And then I turned the engine very slowly with it. I put these two bolts in here and I take this bar like so, and I rotate the engine, I rotate the engine very, very slowly. So as I rotate the engine, I had one hand on the bar and one hand on the socket extension over here, right here. So as I was rotating the engine, I felt the socket move. As I felt the socket try to move up, it, it, it moved up, up a little bit. When I say up, I mean the tip of it was, the tip of it was moving up like that. I could feel it. And so I knew that to be very, very slow with the with my uh, rotating the engine. So I kept rotating very gently and very slowly until it stopped. So where it stopped, I took this line on the harmonic balancer and made a mark on the timing cover. I put this tape on here so I can make the mark. So at this time, I'm going to take the same bar and rotate the engine the opposite direction and wherever it stops. So what's happening is the piston inside is coming up, hitting the stop before it gets to the top. That's where it stopped now. So I'm going to turn around and rotate the opposite direction so it'll go back down. And when it reaches the bottom, it'll turn around and come back up. When it comes back up, it'll hit the stop again. But the, the second time, it'll make a mark somewhere over here. So I'll make that mark. So somewhere in between those two marks is top dead center. So I'll show you how to uh, locate that when I get the other mark made. All right, this didn't work out the first time. See how the, the mark's way over here and it hit the stop coming back up on this side. So since the mark is off the cover, I really can't mark it accurately. So I'm going to have to do this over. So um, I'm going to replace my tape and then make a mark further to the left. All right, I've redone this. I've uh, put new tape across the front and uh, I've now rotated the engine clockwise with the stop in the cylinder here. And that stopped the cylinder right here or stopped the uh, engine rotating right here. So this is approximately where it was the last time I had made a mark right about here. But this time I made another mark on the harmonic balancer, just a temporary mark right here. And then I marked the uh, tape with the same line. So now I'm gonna rotate back the other direction. And this mark here, this is one I'm worried about. This is one I'm uh, marking now. So this mark here next time should face, should be somewhere over in here. So I'll mark it. All right, I've now rotated the engine all the way around from here, all the way around till it hit the stop again, clock, counterclockwise. And I made a mark here on the tape. So. Let's talk about what this means. So if this engine were rotating and running, engine, this engine runs, uh, spins clockwise when it's running. So it's running this way. So if it were running at this point right here, the piston's already reached top dead center and it's on its way down. Cause I just came at it from the other direction, but it's on its way down. So top dead center and on, on this side, it was coming up and it, and it stopped basically at the same point, but it was coming up instead of going down. So now halfway between these two marks here and here is top dead center. All right, so this is the primary mark that's going to help me to establish top dead center. This is just a reference mark that I made. So as the engine's coming back up from this direction, or excuse me, as the engine's coming from this direction, I made this mark. So that's, I need to measure this. So I made this mark so that I could establish halfway between these two distances. So halfway between this, this mark and that mark is right there. And I messed up the first black mark, so I had to move it over a little bit when I double checked it. But so basically what I did is I took a, a tape measure and strung it from this white mark to that white mark and, and measured the distance. And I think it was like, I want to say uh, four, and, about four and five sixteenths. So halfway would be two and five thirty seconds. 
So it was two and five thirty seconds from that mark to that mark, in, which is lined up with that small black tick right there. So now all I have to do is ro rotate this engine back from this white mark back to line up with that small black tick. And then it'll be at top dead center. And then I can relocate where this line is and mark it on the tape that, or mark it on the balance. So that's really what I'm interested in. I don't care about these. I don't care about these three marks. What I care about is that mark because that's the one I'm going to shine with the timing light. So I need to mark the balance. I'm going to mark this timing cover wherever this points to when I move this back to here. All right, what I've done is I've rotated the engine counterclockwise. First, I had to move the, I had to move it clockwise a little bit. I removed the stop out of the cylinder, out of the spark plug hole, and then I rotated it back. And, and I rotated it past, and then I went from, I rotated this mark past, and it came back to it. So now this white mark is lined up that black tick right there. This engine is now at top dead center. So now what I'm interested in, I'm gonna pull the tape off. I don't need the tape anymore. I'm painting, just pull my paint off. Nope. Oh, let some residue. Crap, I don't think I'm supposed to do that. So anyway, so now I need to mark this timing cover with some kind of mark to line up with this white mark as top dead center. All right, it's been a couple of days since I've worked on this video, but I bought this timing cover. It's a bare steel timing cover. It's not painted, it's not chrome. So as I was saying in the previous segment, I marked this, uh, this, this harmonic balancer is at top dead center right now. And behind this, this metal uh, timing tab is blue tape and I've got it marked with this line, this white line pointing right at that blue mark. I'll show you that in a second. But what I'm going to show you that is this timing tab, this uh, metal timing tab is lined up right on the white mark. So it, it's verification that I found top dead center. Um, and it's a pretty good match. So. From this point, this engine is going to be a, uh, this is a throttle body fuel injected murdering motor. And the uh, Volvo timing, uh, timing instructions say you set it for eight degrees before top dead center with the uh, two pins jumpered in the uh, diagnostic data link or whatever it's called. Um, so when we set the timing, that's what we'll do is we'll jump the pins in the data link. And then this, this timing mark right here should be right on eight degrees right there. And um, I t in order to prove that this timing, timing, uh, timing tab is correct, I did some math. I took th this, this stamper is exactly eight inches in diameter. So if you take eight inches times pi, 3.1415, whatever, um, you come out with 25.2 or something like that. So then if you take eight divided by 360, 360 degrees in a circle, eight divided by 360 times 25.2, it comes out to 0.5, or 0.56 or something like that. So 0.56 works out to 9 sixteenths of an inch. So I took a tape measure, I won't show it to you, but I took a tape measure and flattened it out against this damper and measured from there to that eight degree mark. And guess what? It was 9 sixteenths of an inch. So this timing, this timing tab is accurate as far as the number of degrees. I just want to verify that. So um, at this time I've got, a, I now have a timing tab that, that I trust. And what I'm going to do is paint it paint it all black, the whole time tab black, and then come back and tape off the zero and the eight degree mark and to paint over them silver so we can see them. And then that'll be the permanent timing tab for this engine. So I've now removed the timing tab. And as I was saying, I made a mark, um, I found top dead center and then I made a new mark on that blue tape where and I, I didn't move the engine once I found top dead center. I put a new piece of tape over there and made a mark, a black mark, to line it up at top dead center. And I have not moved the engine since I did that. So the timing tab that I bought is uh, on the money as far as uh, top dead center. And now I can make a timing tab will be accurate for this engine. So that wraps up the video on the, how to set or how to find and set top dead center if you don't have a timing mark. And uh, if you enjoyed the video or found it beneficial, please subscribe to my channel. And thanks very much. Good night.